I'm Juliana Bonanos. I'm in 11th grade and then we're taking architecture. I'm Maya Francis. I'm in 12th grade and we're taking architecture. Um, I'm Michael Teresso. I'm a junior and I'm in physics and tech. I'm Julia Graham. I'm a junior and I'm also in physics and tech. I'm Faith Machione and I'm a senior and I'm in honors engineering design. I'm Jordan Hunter and I'm a senior and I'm in honors engineering design. I'm Christopher Martino, I'm a junior, and I take graphic design. I'm Bridgeta Dombowski, I'm also a junior, and I'm in graphic design. Um, so my favorite project was probably the Dream Kitchen, or the like 3D models we're doing now. My favorite project was probably when we built like these cubes out of uh, cardboard or something, paper, and we um, tested them with books to see how sturdy they were. My favorite project that we did in this class was the rocket project. This is my rocket right here. Uh, and so we basically uh, assembled a bottle rocket and we, were, uh, we installed fins, uh, a nose cone, and all different components of the rocket. And then we brought it out onto something called the aquaport, which was a launcher. And we fill up the rocket with water, uh, attach it to the aquaport, and then pump it up with air. And then we're able to launch it and measure, uh, or get the time, measure the height, and do a bunch of calculations for velocity and stuff. My favorite project is the car project, which is what we're currently working on. And so we started off with the gearbox, and we worked our way up to this final product. And our goal for the project is to get this car to tow up the sled up the ramp. Okay, so my favorite unit in this class was definitely the civil engineering unit. We designed two different towers and then tested um, their structure and like based on earthquakes. So this one's the 12 story tower we made and then this one's the 8 story. And um, I really liked that project too but another one that was really fun was the reverse engineering project and basically what we had to do is take this pink flashlight and basically create a flashlight to a customer group that we chose that we thought would sell. So what I did was I created a group of outdoors people so like hikers, campers, bikers and I just included um, many different features that they would like to use, um, such as like motion sensors, a clip, and just um, a little container if they want to put bandies in um, as part of the flashlight. And basically, that's what we did for that unit. So this is the Halloween Tunnel of Terror project that we did, and it's meant to go in the newspapers. And we were given a a poster, and we had to make a one-to-one -one recreation of it and pretty much just try showing a visual representation of what's going to be happening at the Tunnel of Terror event. And it was meant to go in the newspapers and really just be broadcasted to whoever your audience is and try to get them to come along and join. Um, my favorite project was the Jingle Ball ad. It was a direct mail out that we had to take uh, specific artists and take them off of like pieces like pictures from the internet and just like take the background off and put them onto this file um, and then we also had to replicate the logos of a bunch of different like ad agencies in the Z100 like Capital One Bank and we had to pick a font like put whatever artist we wanted on it but I liked this project the most because um, it gave me a lot of necessary skills in Photoshop which was something that I wasn't very proficient in originally so like it's something that I can definitely use in the future. Um, I would recommend this class if you like like doing hands-on work and also if you like think you would like to do this in the future, it'd be really helpful to get an insight of it. Yeah, I like this class and I think you would like it if you again like doing hands-on work or some digital things or just working with others. So um, I think anyone should take this class if you're interested in engineering um, or physics because it allows you to build like an, or do advanced projects and build things and then apply the physics you learn in class to those projects. And uh, it's not just about taking a test um, in class or like uh, learning on paper, like we really get to see physics in action. Um, and I think that's really valuable experience.
Um, I would definitely recommend this class if you are interested in like engineering and STEM. It's a great class, great starter class. You need to know much about STEM. It's a good beginner course and I think you'd really enjoy it. We do a lot of fun projects. It's pretty chill, easy class. And it's a good way to like introduce you to like the STEM. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this class and it's also a great opportunity to get college credits at a very good price. Um, I'm planning to go to Stevens next year and a course um, that I could take there, I could take here for $300 and it would be almost $2,500 at Stevens. So it's definitely worth it and you also get a lot of great experience out of it too. I would recommend this class to uh, future students. As somebody who wants to go into graphic design, who are just like thinking about going into graphic design, it teaches you a lot of necessary skills that you need. Uh, for the future in different programs. Like originally I knew how to use Adobe Illustrator but now we're going to, into using um, like Illustrator more and then Photoshop and InDesign as well so I can be like better at those programs when I want to go into a job like that and it's just like also it's fun like a bunch of different projects that you get to do. There's a lot of freedom like creative freedom in like the different projects that you want to put through like with this one you got to put like all the artists that you wanted you got to pick colors, font sizes, stuff like that but it's a lot of fun. And as me, for someone that's not going into the graphic design industry, I'm going into medical. But this still helps me because it helps me be creative and like really express my thoughts and like show what I'm thinking. Even if I'm not going to be using this like in my daily life, it still helps show exactly like how I want to be getting things down onto paper and to express myself. My favorite part about teaching these classes is that kids get to do things, they actually create things and design things, and they actually get to build it, make it, test it, analyze it, and they try and redo it to make things better. So my favorite part about teaching tech ed classes is that I get to teach students hands-on ways to be creative, they problem solve, they get to work together, um, and they get to see real-world experiences firsthand.